guys, my name is Nikki and today we're doing Curious Kids from Home and we are going to talk about the refraction of light. So refraction is a super big word. That is okay. I can tell you what it means. So refraction of light is actually the change in the way the light moves through different materials. So as you can see here, we have a pitcher of water in a clear pitcher. If I put my hand behind it, it doesn't really look like a hand. So if I just go straight down, you can see parts of my hand. You can't see all of it and it's a little distorted. So that is what refraction of light is. So it's the light changing the way it looks through different materials. And I have some fun experiments for us to do with this. So as you can see on my table, I have a bunch of different clear objects that can hold liquid. So I have a bunch of different glasses and pitchers. And we're gonna see how the light changes through the different objects. So I have two different types of glassware, stemware, and I'm going to add water to them. And I'm not gonna fill them all the way up. We don't need to do that, it'll be all right. So, when the light is out here in the air with us and it hits the water, it actually refracts, which is it changes direction. So you can see that by taking just a simple pencil, just a regular pencil, it's not broken, it's not bent, and I'm going to add that to one of my glasses here, just straight down into it. And it doesn't look weird yet. However, if we go ahead and let our pencil fall to the side, it appears to be distorted or like it's bending. And it's a little harder to see with this glass, but when we put it in this one, it is a lot easier to see that it looks like our pencil is broken. However, it is not. The light is just causing our eyes to see it incorrectly. So it's just playing a trick on us, and that is okay. So I'm gonna add my water back into my big pitcher. That way I don't have a bunch of glasses of water sitting around. Don't wanna accidentally knock them over. Now I'm gonna add my big pitcher right here to the middle. So, if you have ever heard of a laser. So, you might have one laying around the house if you have pets. It is a light that is actually transmitting light into a beam. So it all goes in the same direction. So a light bulb, like what I have here on the ceiling, transmit light, transmits light all around us. So the light is going every which way so that it's hitting all the corners of your room. But a laser light like this one has all the light focused in one direction. So that is why we see that solid little dot hitting my hand. And then I have a stronger laser here. You might not have one of these at home and that is okay. But it does the same thing. So the light particles aren't spreading all around us going crazy. They're going in one straight line and they hit my hand and make that little dot. So when I put my laser and put it straight up and down in the water, just like the pencil, you can see that line going straight up and down. However, when we rotate the little laser, you can see it bends the light a little bit. So it's not going in a straight line, it is actually bent just a little bit and causing it to refract or change direction. And then if we can bounce it off the other side of our clear pitcher, you can actually see it bouncing just right down here in this corner, the small little line coming off, which is super fun. 
So if you have a laser at home, you can try and see the way that it bounces around your glass and how the light doesn't go straight down. It will actually move over a little farther than it normally would because the light is changing direction when it hits the surface of the water and goes through it. So the light is actually traveling slower in our water than it does here in the air. And that's what's causing the distortion that we see or the different shapes of objects and the way they look a little bent. So if I take this little piece of paper and I just have two arrows drawn on it and I'm going to drop that below my water. Ooh. It will distort my arrows a lot. And if I move it back and forth, the direction of the arrows will actually change the further and closer away we hold it to the water, the glass. So that is also the reflection, refl reflection, refraction of light or the way that it's hitting the water and the way that we see it through the water. And another way you can see this is you can draw a fun picture. And if you hold it behind your water cup, your pitcher will look a little crazy. And you can see the different reflections that we see bouncing off the clear. And the different way the light is bending in the water and the way that we see it, which is really fun. Another thing you can do is grab different densities of liquid. So here I have oil, water, and soap. And you notice these are all still transparent so we can still see through them. And we're just going to grab our pencil again and drop it down in here. And you can see the different ways our pencil looks like it's bending or out of shape. And the moving your pencil around slowly so that you're not mixing these liquids can show you the different ways that it looks through it. And this is a little easier to do from home instead of on camera and it's a fun experiment. All right, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment on our Facebook page and we will answer them. And if you do this at home, let us know. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.